Okay, today we're going to learn one chord, and it's going to kind of stretch your fingers out a little bit. It's called C chord. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn C chord. Like I said, uh, I want you to take your number one finger, curl your fingers, and to use your fingertips. You're noting the second string right at the sec the first fret down there. You see that? Alrighty. I want you to take your number two finger, and I want you to note the fourth string right there, right at the second fret. And I want you to stretch your number three finger out up there. You may not be able to hit the third fret, but get close. But I want you to note the fifth string almost to the third fret. And I want you to strum five strings down. Or pick the fifth string and strum. Now that don't sound too, that sounds clear, but there's no rhythm to it, is there? Well, what you do now, my foot's falling asleep. What I want you to do now is I want you to take, pick your fifth string and strum and take your number three finger up there to the top string, pick it and strum. And there again, the, the number three finger is going to muffle the fifth string so it won't really make no unsightly notes that you don't want. So pick your fifth string down here, make C. Pick your fifth string, strum, then go up here, pick your top string, your sixth string, and strum, while you're noting the top string, and then go back. Now you practice that, and I, that's all I want you to do this week, because this is a toughie here. I want you to practice this. See, I even I mess up, and I'm supposed to be a professional. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Just like that. You know, whoever's listening in the other room, they're going to get so bored with you doing this. But you know what? They're not the ones that's having to do it. You just keep pouring them to death, buddy. You know, in, a, in, in another year when you start playing in church or wherever you want to play, uh, you'll be making money, and I'm sure they won't be bored when you start making money, will they? <laughs> but anyway, even if you don't play for money, play for the love of playing the guitar. Oh, I'm so bored with this cold. I'm going to stop. But you practice that. Polish the DVD and practice this and have fun and we will move on to the next one when we will learn a tough chord. You're going to, please don't hate me when we learn this next chord in lesson five.